Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Be Creative, Be Great. We've got an interesting topic today and it's, it has to do with the church. So with that being said, let's just get into the intro, man. back here um and the the topic that that i wanted to to speak about today is you know the church is is there a separation in the church so it, it's something that i posted on my on my facebook um post maybe a, i think it was on friday a couple of days ago anyways it was a post that that, that i i um uh i i wrote and it was if separation exists in the church today and i truly believe it does and the reason why I, I believe it does is because th there's there's still that that gap of, you know, pride in the way with who's better, you know, who's who can sing better, you know, what pastor can preach better. And um, it's as it's something I think that's getting in the way as far as like how how far we can go in the church. You know what I'm saying? How, how far we can take the church as far as seeing uh, God's move in the church you know a little bit more um and if if we are the body if 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 we are the church then how are we conducting ourselves you know what i mean are are we doing things because we want people to see us or are we really doing things because we want to see a change in this world we want to see a change in our communities we want to see a change in our homes and and uh what's happening is that or what i've been seeing is that you know there's that separation there where where it's like a competition and and people are just competing with one another like i said you know as far as you know who sings better who can play the 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 piano better and and it's like wow you know what i mean it's it's we're, we're not living in a perfect world and i understand that but i think as a, as a church we we need to start uh, uh, understanding, you know, who we are in Christ and, and, and what Christ really wants us to do while we're living on this earth that he has placed us in. And I think that, uh, uh, a key important thing that we, that we need to understand is that we need to do this together. You know what I mean? We need to really do it together. We, we, we need to, to evangelize together. We, we need to, you know, be on the same page together when we're doing something, not with that mindset that I'm, I'm better than you, but that, you know what, we're both one and the same and we just want to do the exact same thing just in different ways. We're all creative where we all have different abilities of doing things differently, but that doesn't mean that we do things separately. You get me? So in from from my view, as far as like is the tep, is is the is the church kind of set uh, is there separation in the church? You know, I I truly believe, and I just wanted to open this up to you guys as and and see you know what you guys think about it. You know, put it in your comments, put it in the comments below. You know, and 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 let me know what you guys think about it, so that we can continue to 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 work on it and build on it. Right? It's like like I said, you know, we're we're not. We're not perfect, but we, we try to be, you know, we, we try to do the right things. But if we're busy fighting with one another, we're busy competing with one another, then how are we going to really move the church forward at another level if in the church itself we're, we're separated, you know? So it was just a thought and it was in my mind and I was meditating on it and I was like, wow, man, you know, this is this is a serious topic. Uh, um, people don't talk about it. Um, so I wanted to talk about it, you know, I, I wanted to discuss it and, and use this outlet to, to, to speak on it, touch on the topic there as far as, you know what I mean? Like, how can we, what can we do to, to, to prevent or, or not prevent this or, or how can we work more as a body of Christ together, you know, doing things uh, uh, to support one another and not with that mindset of like, oh, you know, is, is, is that person going to surpass me or is that person going to be better than me? No, let, let's get that out of our hearts and out of our minds that, you know what, let's, let's come together 
and and let's let's let, let's do it together. Let's do church together. Let's do ministry together. You know, um, um, I have this ability. You have this ability of of doing something. You know what? Let's put it together and let's just go forward in it. You know, let's not compete with one another. Let's not you know try to do things to 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 bring another brother or another sister down, but support them. You know, with there's there's so much talent in the church. There, there's so many gifts that God's given us. And then sometimes we take these gifts and it's like, oh, it's all for me. And that's about it. And I don't want nobody to, you know, to 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 take that away from me or or this is what I do and and I do it better than you. You know, and it's like when you start coming into that and you start throwing those those things into the picture, it just messes the whole dynamics of what the church is really about. And I, I believe the church is about, you know, coming together. I believe the church is about fellowship and I believe the church is about growing together. We we all have different struggles. We all come from different phases of life, you know. We come from all we we have different stories, but how can we put these stories together? with with our with our knowledge of, of how we came out from where we came out of as far as you know our struggles and and what what did I do to overcome them now how can I apply it to the church so we can just you know put it together and and drive the church forward at another level where we can see more love where we can see more healing where we can see more restoration where we can see you know more blessings and a, and and a, and a stronger move of God uh, I believe that we can do it, but, you know, it just takes, you know, who are the people that, that are going to just stand up and say, you know what, I'm, I'm with you. I understand that, 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 and I accept that I've been a part of this separation. You know, at times, sometimes, you know, I feel like I can do something better than another person. But you know what? Let's acknowledge these things. Let's acknowledge that, that, that we're wrong, that there's faults in this whole entire picture. But let's try to fix it. Let's fix it together. Let's, let's help each other. Let's not point each other's flaws out. But how can we see each other's flaws as something that we can, you know, turn around and make it for something better that yes i had these these flaws but they've been corrected i've allowed god to work in me i've I, i've allowed god to 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 heal me i've allowed god to help me work in this in this area but now i want to help you if you're dealing with it as well and i'm not here to judge you but i'm here to you know help you get past it and then that other person should be open enough to say you know what i'm i'm going to accept it and i want to go through the same change and, and and I want to, uh, you know, I want to be different and, and constantly I want to make myself, you know, better every single day. Um, and on, at the end of the day, you know, I can't do it alone. You know, we that that's that's just the bottom line. We cannot do it alone. And then when we put in, let's do it together, then that's when we start getting this competition and, and you know, wanting to be better than, than another person and all, all this other nonsense that that is so immature at times and and um i think we 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 need to get to the bottom of it and and just like start chiseling away at it you know and correct these things because that's the only way we as a body of christ we as the church are going to move forward because we we're only going to be able to move forward if if we do it together you know there's there's many instances in the scriptures where it talks about you know just unity about doing things together about what happens when 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 everyone is on the same page you know and and there's it's a bunch of blessings you know the day of pentecost when the holy spirit came down you know the the move of god was was so powerful because it says that everybody was in one accord everybody was connected everybody was there boom and it just caused something you know so powerful to happen and i think that that we can cause that as well if we just work together i just wanted to throw this out there i, I wanted to touch on this topic because i think it's important as well and I, I think we, we, we should we should speak on this topic because sometimes people don't want to speak about certain things. But once somebody talks about it, then they're like, you know what? He's right or you're right. You know, she's right. We, we, we should be, be doing this together. And then, you know, that that's how we can, you know, trigger certain things to happen because it's just like that's just the way it is. You know, people don't touch on certain things because they're afraid of what people are going to say. But if, if we're doing or we're touching topics with love and because we want to really see change and we want to see something happen in the church and 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 see something happen in each and every one of our lives like i said you know we are the church and if if we are the church then we we should be applying these 
these fundamentals in there you know doing things with love doing things with 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 passion doing things with with excellence and doing things together you know so i like i said i wanted to touch on this topic because i think it's important and i would like you know you let let me know what are your thoughts you know put it in the comments below you know uh um let, let's have a dialogue you know speak with me let me know what, what what your thoughts are i post these things on on my instagram page you know different comments on my facebook page um if you want to follow my instagram page it's just j block j a y b l o c k and um uh, my creative channel be creative be great for those who who aren't following you can follow my links uh to all my social networks will be in the description of this channel um but thanks again for watching um, um, be creative, be great. That's what that's what this is about. Just touching all types of topics of, of creativity. Because believe it or not, the 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 church is a is a big is a big part of it. Uh, um, as far as how creative we are, you know, creative. I don't touch topics of creative, not just only in the media aspect or photography, videography, but how can we be creative as as human beings with the gifts and talents that were were given to us? How can we be be creative in in our church? How can we be creative in our ministries how we can be uh, how we can be creative with one another you know without that competition factor in the way so again guys thanks for watching if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe hit that like button and share this video with others i think it's a topic that that it's 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 a big topic that that we should be talking about all right so remember never settle with being good when you have always been meant to be great later